This is an unboxing of a excess power super capacitor bank. Um, this one's, uh, these aren't the individual small ones. I actually love the way those look, but um, I decided to get a, a bank together that's in a Group 27 casing. Um, this uh, super capacitor does like, uh, I think, 4,000 watts it does. It's, I mean, that's a lot of power in this box. This box weighs 15 pounds, so I mean, the, the, the capacitor itself probably weighs like 11, 12 pounds. Um, these are capacitors that I used to have before. I started with this one, this uh, Boss uh, 4 ferrite capacitor. Um, and it was pretty good. I mean, it had a digital uh, gauge here. You know, it gave you the readout as you went down and up, as it recharged. Um, it was, uh, you know, it's pretty uh, standard, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative, and uh, the remote wire. And um, yeah, it was cool. It was cool and uh, it worked when I had like a basic system. It worked for me then. And uh, it was cool until I got rid of it and got this. This is a, a NVX hybrid capacitor. It's a 10 ferride, um, a bit better than the Boss one. Um, it had a digital gauge here as well. It gave you the readout as it went down and up. I love the connections on this, you know, one positive went in, one negative went in, and then the other two went to the amp. It was really cool. I mean, I liked it a lot. These two don't actually have, there are actually no real numbers for these two. Like, you know, as far as wattage goes, I don't know if anyone's ever measured it and, you know, has the actual numbers for these two, but I know when you go online and read their manuals, there is no actual readout wattage, it's just... Well, it'll improve your SPL performance. That's pretty much what it says. This is a bit different. This, you know, you actually have numbers here on the side. Um, these are the actual specs. 12 volts, max 10,000 uh, amps, uh, 4,000 watts max, 500 ferrite. And, um, the word the watt the watt hours it's i mean it's supposed to be really good it's supposed to uh make a massive improvement uh to my system i mean right now i'm getting i don't really get dimming like that just a little bit of dimming if i go full tilt so i figured fuck it let me get one of these and uh see what it's about i mean it's super light so at least i can uh throw it in the back See what it can do. All right, so let's cut it open. Let's see what it looks like in there. All right. There we go. Excess power uh, stickers. Got a bunch of those. There's that. <laughs> yeah, this thing is. <laughs> This thing is light, yeah, yeah, pretty much. One hand, you know, any direction you want, super light, super, super, super light. Um, I'm gonna weigh it on the scale to get an exact weight of it in its plastic baggie. Let's wait and see, let's see. Uh, 12.5 pounds. 12.5 pounds and I mean for this thing to weigh 12.5 pounds and uh, you know take the place of a 80 pound battery I mean that's that's massive man that's massive um I saw who did I see put a bunch of these in the back of their car so, who was it was it the, I think I was watching uh, Steve Steve me I, I don't remember if, that, if it was these or it was um if it was uh, lithium, so I think they were. I think they were these. He put four of them in the back of his, his Tahoe and got rid of uh, four of his 3100s. Yeah, but these things are. I mean, massive. Save your weight. I mean, look at this thing. All day long with this thing. All day long. This thing is great. Um, you know, I gotta hook it up and see what the numbers look like. After I hook it up, but 
you know, it's excess power. I have, I have no doubt that this thing is going to be impressive and uh, make a massive difference. Um, a friend of mine was telling me that, oh, you know, you should be worried about these things uh, charging really quick and sucking away power from the batteries. And, you know, I mean, whenever people warn me about things, I, I like to investigate a little bit. So I, you know, I, I called Excess, and Excess was like, listen, that's bullshit. That's complete foolishness. So, you know, you know, I, I, I would take the word of the manufacturer over somebody who's not the manufacturer. Um, this, I was actually going to get, there's actually, this is like a 500 series. It's a bunch of them in the 500 series. Then there's one that's slightly above this, and it, it was actually a little less than this. And it, it was, I think it was a 650 ferrite or something like that. But the, like, the, the, um, the volts only went up to about 14.2 or something like that. And I was worried that, well, since the system tends to overcharge sometimes and push up to like 14.8 volts, will it damage the capacitors? And yeah, XS said, yes, it definitely will. Um, so I ended up getting this that had a wider range from um, 12 volts to 16.2 volts. So in case your system ever flares up, I mean, you, you get a flare in power, you won't, uh, you won't damage the capacitors inside. I mean, if you're pushing more than 16 volts, but you know, on a 12 volt setting, setup, you, you got a problem. They said that though, this is, this is a 12 volt capacitor, so you cannot hook it up to 16 volts. You should not hook it up to 16 volts but it can handle between 12 and 16. So, there's that. Um, you know, looks great. Um, sure it has a shitload of power. Sure it can do a lot. Um, I'm gonna hook it up and see what numbers I get from it. That's my unboxing of this uh, uh, Superbank uh, SB500 uh, Group 27, 500 ferrite. Like my videos. Subscribe, leave comments, whatever. All right, people.